Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Stock High Plus Jack here, bringing you another video. And today, we are bringing you Meta Materials once again. And it seems every single video I make on this, the price drops. But, that's because it's true. <laughs> but, you know, currently sitting at a price of 575, the volume is once again low today. We had a little spike up there earlier this morning. And, again, a drop off. But, this is a stock now to start looking into the longer term, in my own opinion. Of course, it's not financial advice, but I believe this is a great price for a stock with long-term potential. But, I mean, anything's, anything can happen. But, let's get right into it. So, what I want to talk about today, the preferred share dividend is officially showing up on multiple brokers. Fidelity officially transferred MMATF to MMAT as of today, and that was, when was that? That was July. Yeah, so I believe last night. So that's great to see. Now, I believe a few people in the comments here said it was also on Robinhood. Okay, some people don't have it on Robinhood. Some people do. I'd say within the next few days, it will be popping up for everybody. And this took a long time, but I believe the merger had to be complete completed before and the merger was only completed a couple days ago i'll also show you proof that i got mine too now this is on quest trade i'll be honest with you i know it's a screenshot but that just shows meta materials incorporate preferred siri a and if, of course quest trade is canadian I have a well simple trade account but i did not buy mmat during the dividend period so I, i'm not sure if it's on that yet or not but i want to continue on so let's talk about the dividend once again for another moment i know i'm getting comments saying oh this is the only hope we have for this stock blah blah, blah. it's free cash regardless i know a lot of you guys are bleeding i'm almost down to my average price as you can see here which is insane after seeing the price like of 450 percent from the price i got of that you know a month ago or more but you know, it's hard to see. I made my decision to hold it through because I wanted a dividend. I do believe it's going to be okay. But of course, I cannot. That's just my opinion. I can't show any proof of that. But I can show some similar land sales within the Pyramid Basin. Now, I know this is back in April. But I remember one of my older videos, I showed you guys the Chevron, I believe. They sold $1.2 billion worth of assets on the Permian Basin as well. And that was, I believe, late June. Now, this one was back in April. Pioneer Natural Resources buys 6.4 billion Permian Basin assets as market recovers. That just goes on to say, and talk about this company sold $6.4 billion worth of assets in the same spot that Torchlight Energy Resources has assets to and are selling them all to the Permian Basin. Now, are these, you know, these assets more valuable? It could be. Do they have more oil potential? It could, you know, anything could be different. Of course, Torchlight Energy has like billions of barrels of oil that could be produced. But, you know, it's no guarantee they're even going to get a billion dollars. We're really hoping for a couple of billion dollar deal so that dividend can be very high. And if we see a $6.4 billion deal with Torchlight Energy, the dividend's going to be through the roof. So... I honestly don't think it's going to be a chance. It's going to be that much. Of course, this is my own opinion, but that's that would be just insane. As you can see, Torch Meta Materials has 160 million in cash and are virtually debt free. As you can see, they're talking about the processing dividends as of July 2nd, but that's a lot of cash on hand with no debt. That is insane. But of course, this is not financial advice, guys. Do your own DD. I appreciate you all for watching. Have a great day.